folks, this is going to be a video on direct TV satellite service. I'm going to show you the steps necessary in order to turn on your direct TV. Um, if you end up with a signal loss code on your on your TV and you've followed my steps, that means either there's too many trees on the west side or you're just having an issue as far as the satellite system itself in space. Sometimes when we have bad weather coming in, um, it will not work because of an interruption. And also if you're traveling over to Canada, um, Canada, they shut the DirecTV service off. So DirecTV is not permitted in Canada. So if you cross over the border, don't bother calling me because that's the reason. Okay, so let's get started. Step A, find your remote. You're gonna notice a little icon on your TV. Of course, every motorhome has their TVs in different places and the direct TV boxes in different places, but they're all gonna look the same as far as the receiver is concerned in the switch. So just follow along and you'll find it in your motorhome. So on this particular TV, it's double circles, which is this black remote. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna power up the TV. Now, on your remote, some of the TVs, once they come on, are gonna do an auto scan automatically, which is like this. So to get rid of that, find the clear button on your remote and hit clear. Now, we have to make sure that the TV is set to direct TV sequence. You'll notice on the TV, most times I have it noted, this one is direct TV HDMI 3. You have a 1, 2, and a 3 HDMI selection. So of course, if it's not written on the television, just keep hitting the input button until you start to see the direct TV icon come across the screen. So let's go to input. You're gonna hit it there. You're gonna use your arrows down to HDMI 3. Here. Okay, step two. Leave that alone. You're going to find your wine guard switch. Your wine guard switch turns on the satellite dome on the roof. I'm going to turn that on. Step three. You're going to find your receiver. You're going to reset the red button. Every time you go to a new location, you refresh the red button. Now, while this is all loading, notice the screen, you're getting direct TV words on there so that you know that we're actually queued in on the right channel. The direct TV receiver is connected to a 110 outlet. What does that mean? That means A, you need the generator running, or B, you need to be plugged in at the campground to use the direct TV receiver. So what happens is, is that if you try to do that without an electrical source, your direct TV receiver will not be juiced up, so that will not work. Now, as you're listening, once you turn the wine guard on, you're gonna hear a skipping motion up on your roof. That's the satellite trying to find the direct TV signal. As we're waiting on that, as we see the screen is progressing, the screen is gonna take about three to four minutes, folks, to get this direct TV on. So just leave it alone, let her do her thing, don't get antsy, and if everything goes right, then you'll have TV. So, say you're using the TV and you shut it down and you forget to shut this off. Well, you're gonna hear skipping on your roof like you have a bunch of squirrels dancing. Simply just power that switch down and then that sound will then go away. Okay, so let's go back to the screen. It's going to do one of two steps. This process is going to take a little while. So we'll be back to this as soon as we get to the next step. Okay, folks. So now you see this bar? This bar is appearing on your screen. As soon as you start to see green filling in this bar, that's a good thing. That means your satellite has locked on. We're going to wait for it to go 100% and then pick it up for there. While we're waiting for that to fill in, the only other um, notice you'd get on the screen if that didn't come up is signal loss. And like I said again, that's either a problem in space on the satellites because of weather, or that's because you have too many trees in the area that you're parked. So as it starts to, as it starts to fill in, it's gonna reach 100%. 
Once it goes 100%, the screen is gonna black out. Do not touch it. Stay put, stay patient, because we're working on it. It's almost there, you notice? Okay, see how it's rebuilding your schedule list? Shortly after that, blacks out, just like I told you. It's all true. Okay, folks, the end result is the DirecTV menu and television station is on. That's what you want to see if you've been locked on. Now, if you're in a campground and you're locked on, you want to shut off this wine guard switch. What does that do? That leaves the satellite in that position while you're stationary. So every time you turn the TV on and off, it's on when you come in and we don't have to go through this whole process. If you want to try to use the TV when you're driving, it is an in-motion satellite. I don't know what the pixelating looks like, but you would leave this switch on while you drive. That allows the antenna to pivot back and forth. So this is what we've got. Now, I want to also make a comment. You have most motorhomes that have direct TV have an outside TV and a bedroom TV. The direct TV receiver is just one receiver. What does that mean? If you're watching TV here, this is the channel you're gonna see in the bedroom or outside. Now, in order to get the TV in the bedroom and the outside TV to mirror this channel, you're gonna make sure that your TV remote, use the input, is set to TV. And also, 03 on your TV remote is set on channel three. That's gonna be, give it the um, ability to mirror. It's called mirroring. Now, if you go outside and do that procedure and you're not getting anything outside, that means that the outside TV is not connected to the receiver. All right, folks, there you have it. So remember what I said, shut it off. If you're at the campground, once you get live television, keep it on if you're gonna drive. Thanks for visiting and using DirecTV. Enjoy.